Steve Rogers, I work for ACOM and I'm the Talent Acquisition Manager. For me it's all about uh, research, so prior to an interview um, we would expect that they have a good knowledge uh, of the company already uh, and they've done far more in-depth research than for example just looking on the home page uh, of the company. Uh, I would expect them to be able to um, tell us about specific projects or, or, or landmark projects that the company was involved in and show their enthusiasm into particular aspects of the projects that uh, you know, they may be interested in working on in the future. I think one of the most common faux pas that we see in applications um, is a lack of demonstrable evidence that they actually have interest in either the organisation or the role that they're applying for. Um, and this is normally uh, manifests itself uh, through really a, a poor application form, uh, for example, or um, a, poor, a poor telephone um, interview where, again, they struggle to be able to um, regurgitate um, key information um, either on the company or more importantly about the, uh, the role, uh, discipline or career that they're looking to go um, forward into. And to be honest, if they, if they can't convey enthusiasm um, for engineering for example sake, um, then again they're not really going to catch the eye of, of the recruiter. Um, it's about understanding that the recruiter is, is looking to identify candidates that want uh, the job um, not just candidates that want a job and in the current uh, graduate marketplace um, where there are many applicants and very few roles um, that is absolutely key. 